So, I've got myself a bit of charcoal. Um, this. I've been planning on doing this painting for a couple of weeks. It's, I get an idea and then it sits in my head for quite a while. Uh, and I've drawn it out a couple of times, drawn out information from it. I knew what I wanted, but how I was going to get there has gone round in circles a little bit. But I think the finished image now um, is pretty much in my head. So I'm using reference photographs to make it historically accurate, but the actual putting together of the image is my own. There's a lot of artistic license in where I'm going to put things and stuff like that. But I felt using um, stock images and images from the news is going to be really important in this one. It's about um, Afghanistan and the fleeing from Afghanistan at, uh, three weeks ago at the end of August. and all the refugees that are now around the world under protection of other countries and I just wanted to do something about it so that's what this is so this is going to come round here like that this is the barbed wire and this will probably be put on last actually this barbed wire but I just want to put an indication of where it is in planning the rest of the painting right you know the image um, of the Taliban round the table on the first day this is the reference photograph that I want to use. It's um, the reason I chose this photograph. There's quite a quiet one where they're all s sat at the table, and then there's another one where they're actually talking to each other. And I'm using the one where they're talking to each other because the line of the heads has an angle to it that goes around this corner. So <laughs> it it just fits the painting better head there, head there, oh is that going to be, no, a bit bigger, head there, head there, head there, yeah that's the one I want, it, there, that, you see, see that line of heads going up, and then his shoulders, just disappear off that that's that's what I wanted and then there's just another two guys in the background here but it's that going up around that corner that I wanted and in that table and with the guns and everything there'll be the barbed wire going across the top between these guys and the bit that's going up the middle are they too high? I think they are I'm going to put them lower down because there's a part of the story that I really want to make sure I get in properly so I'm definitely going to put these guys further down I think make sure I've got the right image that one yeah, that's better. And his arms will be behind. That's the one. And he's because he's leaning in that side. And then what I want next is behind these are going to be a line 
it was the lines of people that struck me. Everyone was waiting, everyone was being so good, waiting their turn to leave their homes. We just stood there being so patient. I mean, sometimes it erupted into craziness, but for the most part, it was people sitting and standing in lines and just waiting and waiting and waiting. So that's what I want going up there. There's one image that keeps coming up and over and over again, and that is the, that's the refugees in the aeroplane. There were loads of them. I think that her head is going to go higher up. Her head's going to be higher up, so I'll come back up again. It's not a problem, just moving things up slightly, that's all. And that's why I do it in charcoal, because these images will just and hair flowing that way and then in here is just all the people and there's very much a, an element of perspective in this like that so these guys are all And then we get smaller as they go to the back and then the barbed wire will be over the top I'm trying to get away from it this is the bit that I've been trying to get this is the bit that was in my head and on her shawl around here or on the blanket that she's been wrapped in is the flags of the nations that have given homes to refugees going round so it's like they're enveloping they're welcoming in the refugees so it's the idea of the Taliban down the bottom I, I, ju I just wanted to capture that moment in time three weeks ago where the whole world was focused on one place um, Afghanistan and the Taliban took over and hundreds if not thousands well thousands of people we could see hundreds at a time in each photograph but thousands of people queued waited for their turn to get out of what would become a prison for them if they stayed so I don't want to make I didn't want to make like a really horrendous statement or anything I just wanted to capture a moment right I've got it planned out with charcoal now I'll throw some paint on it. Just got loads of raw umber and I'm gonna start at the top, work my way down and work out my tone tones for general things um, just to make sure that it's gonna work together so it's gonna be dark behind the dove so I can put that in. Huge brush, well say huge, it's not like a decorating brush but it's big enough, it's big enough. And I, I do have images of doves that I'm going to look at I'm quite happy with, you know, making up my own dove and then 
just uh, getting the right textures on it later. Because this is mad of. The, the the picture of the girl I think it's a, yeah it's not a, it's not it's like a a young girl not she's not she's not a young girl she's like a um, teenage girl I think she's a teenage girl anyway but it, she had the look in her eyes that I wanted and it was a like a what next kind of look and obviously a lot of people had that look on their faces at this time hers just stood out to me I'll, all the photographs that I am referencing I'll pop up on screen while I talk about them in the video so that you can see just exactly <coughs> where I was getting ideas from. The top of the painting up up there. I'll probably make the background um, a clear sky. Maybe one or two clouds in it. But a nighttime sky. So this is where the flags are gonna go. So The colours will be not recognisable without being like bright and obvious. And then this darkness will spill down here. Her hair's coming out from there as well. So no detail at all at the moment and um, it's still planning stage this. What I might do coming down the sides, see as I start to paint I start to get ideas for things that need to go in there. Down here I'll probably do the Afghanistan buildings and then some of those cream coloured tents that people were staying in before they left. So that will be like a Afghanistan architecture here and here with maybe tents and stuff coming down. And then here, this is where we start looking at the people in the aeroplane. And I'm, these people are going to just be blobs for now. Just working on the texture of what all the darks and lights of them being there will look like. So we get to this line. And this line, in the photograph that I'm using, it was the colours of the clothes. All these people had just been living lives. They, they had choice of clothes that they chose purples and yellows and blues and beautiful colours, beautiful clothes and they were still stood in these clothes as they were lining up to leave and there's something about it wasn't like it, it wasn't there's something about the clothes that they were wearing it wasn't like a there were rainbows or anything clothes looked so happy and clean and joyful 
the colours and the textures and the patterns and the clothes were beautiful. And it just completely opposite to what was happening around them. It was very, very strange. Such a beautiful country and then absolutely torn apart. And this is where the people are sat. around that table. And I think right down at the bottom, it would be difficult to show on this, but right down at the bottom, underneath the table, or around the table, I'm gonna do almost like a pattern of the guns that the Taliban are seen to be using. Like a, um, an olive wreath goes uh, I can't remember what they call them. Like a, it's like a wreath of olive branches but instead of olive branches it's going to be guns like a victory wreath so there you go there's the the full story of the painting so far I'm going to keep on recording what I do with it and hopefully it will make a I'll make a video of the rest of the processes of each bit. But that's my planning out and that's the story of where this painting is from and what it's for and what I'm trying to achieve with it, which is to cement something in my head the whole situation in Afghanistan because it's been so fluid and changed so much over the years the word Afghanistan is a very scary world, word for me people who go there from this country I don't know anyone that's gone for peaceful means. It's always been either military or helping or helping refugees or missionary or something. And at this point when I saw everyone leaving Anyway, it'll be it'll be a good way of sorting it out in my head. So
this is what I'm going to be doing for a couple of weeks or a week, a week or so, a couple of weeks I'll work on it <laughs> think about it try and get my head around it I think I think that was the tricky bit Get my head round what's what's happened. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So that's the beginning of the painting, the planning out. Um, I'm gonna let this dry and in the next bit I'll probably start in the background the sky at the top coming down into the Afghanistan architecture and the tents before I start on the young girl and the dove. Right. I, I, th I think I'm going to get a lot out of finishing this one. Definitely. Hope you stick around to watch. Alright. See you later.